so today i am going to explain how to find max value and min value from list of numbers by using functions without using predefined function max of and min of so i am explaining the logic for finding max and then min by using functions let us consider the expected input and expected output so we are taking input as list of values i am taking 10 15 5 and then 25 and then 6 these are my list of values i want to find maximum value expected output expected output that is called a max i want to find a max value as 25 and then expected expected this is called max expected output expected output that is i want to find out min value min value as what i want to find the minimum value here is called 6 5 this is called 5 i want to find 5 so let us find the logic for it so to implement this type of uh, application i will use one for loop first i will consider i'll consider i am writing the code in python because in any company when we go for it they will test our intelligence in writing the coding we can use max and min of function we can use it but we want to write our own code for that i am using max v is equal to i am taking first of all i will take this values in the form of list lst is equal to 10 comma 15 comma 5 comma 25 comma 6 this is comes under list object created from there if you take a memory management of that it will be taken as 10 15 5 25 and then 6 lst is an object whose indices are 0 1 2 3 4 and minus 5 minus 4 and then minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 these are negative indices these are positive indices now i want to take up i am assuming that max v is equal to lst of 0 so that max v contains the value called 10 now i will take a one for loop each value of this lst will be compared with the max v so max v contains the value called 10 now i want to write one for loop for value in lst indentation symbol followed by indentation block i will write over there if the value what is the value in lst for loop will take the first value of lst in val i will write it value greater than max v in this case value is 10 max v is 10 which is going to be false 10 greater than 10 false so our control goes to the list once again second value of lst kept in val 15 greater than 10 which is true so that time i will write uh, max v is updated with a value this is becoming 15 next it goes to the loop again what is the value here 5 5 greater than 15 false it will go to the loop again what is the value here 25 25 greater than max that is 15 true the max is equal to value 15 is replaced with the 25 again going to the loop what is the value of lst 6 is in well and uh, well 6 greater than 25 false going to the for loop again for loop doesn't have any more values to retrieve it is becoming false i'll come out of that for loop else we reach as parallel to this i'll print here print uh, max v i will print it 
So the output will be coming here as 25. This is an expected output. We got it. Similarly, I will write the same coding under this minimum part also. Under the minimum also, I will write the same code. As usual, I will take it as LST is equal to, I will take it as 10, 15, I will take it as 5, I will take it as 25, I will take it as 6. Then I will start the same logic. I am taking the memory management as it is here, 10, 15, 25, and then 15, 5, and 25, and then 6. LST is here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. I can write as usual min v is equal to lst that is nothing but what lst of 0 that is called a 10 i am taking min v is equal to i am writing 10 here 10 i am assuming i'll start here for value in lst in lst same kind of looping here but i am writing here if value less than min v here earlier it is called greater it is called lesser i will write here i'll update min v is equal to value i will trace it out let us trace the logic and in parallel to this if parallel to this i'm writing what are the value here min value is what 10 what are the first value of it 10 10 less than 10 is false it goes to the loop it goes to the loop value in this lst 15 15 less than 10 it is called false going to the lst again 5 5 in lst is coming here 5 less than 10 it is true immediately it enters into the indentation block min v is equal to val val is called 5 10 is replaced with this 5 and it is enter into the loop again what are the value of here 25 25 less than 5 it is going to be false going to the loop again what are the value here 6 6 less than 5 false it is going to the loop again what is this value no more value in the for loop for loop become false coming to l spot and i'll print here print of what min v i am writing which is going to give the result as 5 which is called expected input is called expected output is 5 this code i will implement through the functions let's see the coding part i am explaining this coding part let's watch it I'll define a function here. Two functions I'll define. Define here, find max, find max, taking one LST as an input. I will take one more function, find min, find min. I'll take one more input here as LST, LST here. I say pass. And I'll write a main program here. The main program I am taking, LST is equal to, take the values here, 10, 15, 15, and then 5, and then 25, and then 6, 25, and then 6. We can accept the values dynamically even. We can take the values dynamically also. Now I am writing, find max is equal to LST. Find max is equal to LST. I must define the body. I must define the body. Same mechanism I will follow. And I will think one more thing. The list may be empty. Len of LST. If the length of the list is 0, I will print that list is empty. List is empty. If no values are there in the list, if I take it as an empty list, LST is equal to like this. If I take it, it a list is empty. I want to print it. I am evaluating this now empty. I want to print this. Okay. Now let us continue the loop. Else I will go for it. There I will write the for loop. Max V is equal to LST of 0. You take it. I am assuming the first value itself is a max. For value in LST. I will take it. If val greater than max of V. If that is the case, update the max v with value. And I will go to this place. Here I am writing. Enter into this place. Go to this else for that. Now I am writing here. Print of 
I am writing this here max of max of like this is equal to like this dot format of LST comma max we am taking this is related to find max similarly when you come to this uh, minimum also minimum also when you come out the same logic I will follow the same logic I will follow there also if ln of LST is equal to 0 if that is the case I'll write list is empty list is empty if the list is non-empty I will go to this line shall so go to this place look at that I'm going to write this now else spot I will write it there I am taking min v is equal to LST of 0 taking here for value in LST I can say if value less than what min v min v I'll update the min v with value with the value even I was traced out here also the same logic I am writing in else spot I'll print min of min of list of values with list of values dot format of LST comma min v I am taking this is about uh, the function definitions we are going to call two functions I defined it one is max function one more is a min function one by one if you want to call you can call it let us run this code here i am having max v is equal to 25 this is my output i got it similarly if you want to print min v also min v also if you want to print i can say find min find min of lst you can take it and run this code and see this now we got the result this is about fixed input i took it and in this code, I'll show you dynamic input, I will take it. Instead of this, I can say dynamic input. And before that, I'm writing here, print, enter, enter, list of values, list of values, separated by space. I'm using list comprehension concept here. LST is equal to, I'm writing either float or int, you take it value i can take it for value in for value in input of dot split off i'm taking because of that dynamically the values will be coming let us run this value program once and i'm writing it 10 and 2.3 and 45.6 and 78 and minus 3 and 1.2 and then 6.7 minus 6.8 so i got it maximum value 78 and minimum value i got it minus 6.8 this is the program without using max function and min function we wrote the code thank you for more videos like and subscribe the channel